but I think I'll make it. <laughs> well, we, we have no coffee because we have no budget, so uh, no one knows me. <laughs> well, I think I'll make it today. How are you, Steve? Good, good. First of all, Matthew, i got to tell you, you bring so much culture uh, and your expertise to the show. We had an outstanding um, um, feedback on your segment, and I, I want to thank you, sir, for coming here on a Saturday afternoon and becoming a regular now, right? Well, yeah. You, you, thanks. Thank you, Steve. I've been more than grateful for the opportunity. The feedback has been excellent. The Facebook page has been a buzz lately. I mean, do you see all those mm-hmm. likes? Oh, my God. I, get, I, get, I, get, you know, I can't even keep up with that. I mean, we're all getting buzzed. The whole crew here is getting buzzed, and a lot of it is, is due to you, sir. Uh, thank you. All of us. We're a team here. Okay. Well, Matt, team. tell New York what you're all about and what you discuss today. Well, I'm a fine artist based in South Shore, Long Island. I do a lot of portrait painting, paintings of pets, and a lot of custom artwork for customers, churches, businesses, and I spread joy through painting and art. And today what we'll be doing, I'll be analyzing for the listeners at home what has been called the greatest painting that ever existed. And in the studio here, I have a copy of it. I don't know, I don't know, webcam can get it, but... It's Las Meninas by Diego Velasquez. It may not be the most recognizable piece of art, but it's definitely one of the most complex, one of the most powerful and enigmatic pieces that has ever been created, and it dates back to 1656. Now, Steve, to put it into perspective, the painting measures 9 feet by 10 and a half feet. It's huge. That's about the size of a, ro- a wall in a room. When you walk into and you see the painting in the museum in Madrid, it's, it's like you're looking at a wall. And although we have a print here in the studio and you see little pieces of, uh, you know, little little figures, keep in mind when you see the real thing, those figures are lifelike. So that's the, the scale of what we're looking at. And this painting was done by Diego Velasquez, and it's of the Spanish royal family. We have in the painting about nine figures, including the artist himself, and he painted a picture of the Spanish court. Margaret the infant, and, you know, a few of her, uh, her maids. Las Minas translates to the maids of honor. So those are the two young ladies right here. We also have two dwarves and a dog. And if you look at the, um, at the painting here, Steve, what, what catches your eye the most? Let me ask you that. Well, I see the, uh, the girl in the middle. Okay. And, and the faces, the um, texture of the people in the faces. And you know what? You're seeing exactly what Velazquez wanted you to see. Oh, I got it right. You got it right. <laughs> Last week I was wrong. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. We're never wrong when it comes okay. to art. Okay. But, <laughs> but Margaret happens to be the focal point of the picture. And how do we know that? Although there's so much going on, what I like about this piece is that Velasquez, he's showing you a lot of things, but he's telling you what to look at. Remember last week, Steve, we were talking about creating that motion? Yes. Well, look at the hand of Velasquez. He's holding a paintbrush and a palette. But do you see the way that paintbrush is pointed down? Yes. It points down in that direction. But look, Margaret is the most lit figure in the whole piece with that bright white dress and look at how Velasquez just put the colors down and created the form of a dress without wow. actually painting a dress Amazing. so all the stuff we have here going on we have the artist painting a picture we have 13 frames I counted them before I came in 13 frames on the wall nine figurines your eye is drawn to that one right that, that's composition at its finest right there okay but then the question is here's another enigma of the painting we look in the back here there's a, a painting within a painting right now keep in mind, nine feet by ten and a half feet long. That painting is a full-size painting in this painting, and in that mirror is the King of Spain and Queen Mariana of Austria, looking at you. Or is the artist saying that we are the king and queen? The audience are we the important ones? Or is that actually the king and queen? Uh-huh. Who knows? So scholars have pondered this for years, and for four hundred years we've been asking the same questions over and over and over again. So. In reality, Steve, Velasquez here is painting a picture of the picture that you're looking at. I see. It's amazing. I mean, the way you uh, verbalize it and, and to explain to the listening audience is a, is a knack in itself. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you. But also bringing this portrait and this painting in and describing it brings us back to that kind of uh, year and back in time and, and how people you know, kind of got together there. Oh, definitely. And back in that time, the artist was actually a part of the family and... It was only the wealthy families and royalty that was able to a commission an artist or afford such a painting. And the artist would be, you know, in the portrait himself. This would be like having the, uh, the photographer in your family portrait this holiday. It doesn't happen anymore. You know, the, the, port, the artist, the uh, photographer, they're really not, you know, a part of the family anymore as they used to be. Right. Well, we kind of lost that over the time, and understandably. 
it, it's amazing. I know you're going to be a regular on the show. You're going to bring more of this out <coughs> in the open and your work and other people's work. How can people get a hold of you? Uh, the best way can be reached is through my mobile number, 917-929-8110. 917-929-8110. Give it up for Matthew.